Here's a quick project that you can do in After Effects just to get started if you've never maybe used the program before or if you're curious about how you could create a drawing effect for videos. So I'm going to pick a new composition and this is where you want the settings to match your video. I'm just going to say OK for now. And I'm going to start by adding a solid layer so that I have a background color and you can also see how this is going to appear in my layers panel once I have this. So I'll just pick this blue color And now I have that up here down here where I have my layers and my timeline and you can also see that appear up here on my on my artboard. So I'm going to then use the pen tool. I'm going to type the letter O and I'm going to try to find a font that looks kind of like a circle. So I might use something like Futura which is a pretty classic circle shape. Condensed medium is maybe not quite what I want. But you could also be typing a whole word right now or anything that, that is appealing to you. I'm just going to use this as an example of how you can make a shape appear on your screen. So now we have our O. And you can see that that appeared here as a text layer down there with the letter O in it. And in that same layer, so I'm going to make sure that I have that selected, I'm now going to take my pen tool. And with my pen tool, I'm going to pick a starting point on my circle. And I'm going to draw around it as carefully as I can. Circles are pretty good for um, learning to use the pen tool because you're using all pretty basic curves. Um, if you do need help with a pen tool, this is a, a skill from Illustrator, and that's probably a better place to practice it. And as soon as I get back to the beginning, I will end my point there. I'm going to end it slightly off, just so I don't overlap there. And that is part of that same layer. I'm going to go up to Effect, Generate, Stroke. And now that will appear over here in my effect controls. You can see that the color here is white, and that's perfectly fine. I could change it just so it doesn't get confused with my, my background color. And right now it's very small compared to my letter, so I'm going to make it bigger, bigger, bigger until it covers up that whole shape. I might need to adjust some of my ending points, and I can do that now too. I might decide that this needs to be a little bit closer this way just to make sure that I get the whole shape to appear later. And so right now I can see that this new shape, this stroke that I've added, covers up the entire O that I first drew on my, sh on my screen. Now what I want to do is uh, adjust the end in the beginning. So here I'm going to change this so that the end is back to, you know, zero is the ending. So I'm going to make sure that's on 100. And down here I'm going to go to effects and stroke because that's how I've done this effect. And I can choose to add a keyframe for my end point. If I want this to take five seconds to draw, I can move this over there and I can move my ending point over to five seconds. If I move this back to the beginning, I can create another keyframe by clicking this little diamond shape. This is very similar to keyframes in Premiere if you're familiar with that. And now I want my my point there to be zero. So it has zero of the completed shape. At the end though it's going to have a hundred percent of the completed shape. And I can see this will draw the circle very slowly over the course of five seconds as I now play the animation. You can play animations in After Effects very similar to Premiere by using your spacebar. You can also go over here to the preview menu to um, control it if you need to. Now here's the fun part. Instead of having this red kind of poorly drawn circle appear over my O, I'm instead going to do this reveal original image. So this makes it now kind of a mask on my original shape. So if I start doing like this, it'll draw that O shape. And what it's doing is revealing that nice smooth O that I had from the text layer when I first started. And at the end of the animation, that letter is completed. You could do this for a whole word, um, so you can look like you're drawing a whole word. You can do this for sketches, shapes, anything you want, where it will now reveal that shape as you go around the tr path that you have traced with the pen. Here's another example using this technique where I've drawn the entire word hello, and I've now traced it with a pen tool, added the stroke, and made that cover up my entire text. Um, if I go back 
on my scrubber I've added the keyframe so that I can make that drawing appear or disappear and now all I need to do is change the paint style to reveal original image and when I go over to preview my image it will now play the whole word this is, takes a little bit a long time so I'm actually gonna make it even shorter just by changing where I put that ending keyframe and as you'll see this is not perfect I would need to go through and adjust some of the spacing around that line so that I don't have letters appearing before they're supposed to but that gives you a basic sense of how you can have letters appear on your screen as if you are writing them.